Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is your hoodly neighbor friend, Oxhorn, and I'm here today to do a review of the Standalone Construction Power Armor mod by Horus Still Lives. This is a very unique power armor that you can uh, find in the game after installing this mod, and I wanted to include this one because unlike many of the power armor mods out there, uh, this one is available on Xbox One as well. You can find it for the PC and the Xbox One on the Bethesda.net um, mod shop. This is a pretty cool piece of power armor. It has stats between the T-51 set and the T-60. It's not a carbon copy stat-wise of any power armor in the game. It also has a completely unique look and feel to it. It requires the Automatron DLC to work, and that's because it looks like it's hacked together from a variety of robot parts. The most unique thing about this suit of power armor that I think I like the best is that the mod author has incorporated all of the robot paint schemes from the robot builder that comes with Automatron into this power armor set. When you load the miscellaneous mods into a power armor workstation, you can go through aqua, red, all of the different colors that you can paint robots with Automatron. That makes this suit of armor the most customizable of any other suit of armor in the game in terms of colors. You can choose a variety of different colors to suit your playstyle. As I said, the stats of each piece of armor is unique. You won't find it anywhere else in the game. It's a little better than the T-51 set, but not quite as good as the T-60. And along with that, there are certain things you don't have access to, like a jetpack, for example. So it's certainly not an end-game suit of power armor. But it's a great suit of power armor for somebody who's leveling, or for a companion, for example, or to put on some of your settlement guards. Another unique thing about this suit of power armor is the way that the mod author incorporated it into the game. Unlike many mods that you can download, you don't find a standing suit of power armor just somewhere in the world. He actually makes you put a lot of work and effort into getting it. There are three suits of power armor in the game. The first suit can be found at Thicket Excavations, but before you can get it, you have to complete the quest there that requires you to fix the three drainage pipes before the quarry will drain itself of water. Once you complete the quest, you actually have to leave the zone for two or three in-game days, and then come back. When you come back, the water will have drained, but the quarry is now swarming with Mirelurks and Raiders, so you gotta clear it of Mirelurks and Raiders. Once done, jump down to the very bottom of the quarry. You're gonna find a little rickety shack in the far corner, and there you'll find a full suit of construction power armor. So there is a little bit of work that goes behind getting it. The other two suits are much, much harder. The mod author gives you some riddles when giving you hints on where to find the suits of power armor. One of the riddles is that the second suit must be retrieved from the man obsessed with fire. Many people in the comments section of this mod have concluded that it can be found somewhere at the Saugus Ironworks. However, I turned the Saugus Ironworks upside down, I killed the raider boss there, I cleared the entire zone, and I scoured it inch by inch. I even uh, toggled the free cam to zoom around, and I could not find the second suit of power armor in this zone. Many of the commentators of this uh, mod have said the same thing, that they simply can't find the second suit at the Saugus Ironworks. So we're not sure where their second suit is. The third suit is the hardest one to find because it's actually scattered across the world. There are four different pieces that you have to find and uh, some of the other players have found them, uh, but I just didn't want to go searching for it. One is found at the Corvega assembly plant. The other is found at the Jalbert Brothers disposal. The third piece is found at the Diamond City warehouse. And the fourth piece is found within the Concord workhouse. So if you're on the Xbox, those are really the only three suits of armor that you can find. But if you're on the PC, you can always just pop open the console to generate a new suit of this construction power armor whenever you want. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, a really cool new power armor mod from Horus Still Lives. As I said, it's not an end game suit of power armor, but it's a great suit of power armor for somebody who's leveling. You can install this mod early in a new gameplay and then discover the suits of armor naturally as you progress through the game, almost as if it's woven into the actual gameplay, which is pretty cool. 
Comes in a variety of different colors, the most customizable suit of power armor I have found yet. And a great little piece to put a companion in or to put some of your guards in at one of your settlements. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you liked this short video. Open up the description of this video where you can find links to download this mod on both the PC and the Xbox One. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments section below. Check out my other mod videos where I go over a variety of Fallout 4 mods, including some other Power Armor mods. Please subscribe for more content like this, and thank you all so very much for watching.